Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I want to clarify that my hair is wet. It is not greasy. Okay, first and foremost. But hi, Bellicans. Hi, Conspiracy. Oh, let me close the gate here. Okay, there. Hello. The cookathon continues. I had this is actually legitimately the most I've ever cooked in my life in such a short span of time. So, yeah, that's right. Three meals in three days is considered the most I've ever cooked. All right. What is on the menu today, Chef Atheris? I think after cooking two successful meals, I am qualified to call myself Chef a Theorist, right? This is what's on the menu. We're going to be making cranberry glazed turkey meatballs. Oh my god, it is hot. Holy smokes. Wait, let me open the window. It's so hot. Oh god, I think it's just kind of hot today. Oh no. What if I sweat today? Oh no. Okay, well, I'm committed. Okay, um, let's try to not be as slow today, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be possible because first thing that the menu asks of us is to peel every single potato and then cut them into one inch pieces. So, What's the issue with that? Well, yesterday, yesterday we had uh, a bunch of potatoes, right? But we didn't have to peel them. So let's actually grab our stuff out first. So we got our broccoli here. It's gonna be our sides for the turkey. Um, we got the parmesan, we got our Cranberry fruit spread and another sauce. We have our chicken broth. I actually I don't even know if the chicken broth is supposed to be for this meal. I kind of threw that in randomly. And these are all our potatoes. We have a whole bunch of potatoes here. Um throw that away. So I have to peel each of these potatoes. Yesterday I only had to cut them. Today we have to peel them because we're turning these potatoes into mashed potatoes. I guess I should show you how it's going to look. So this is going to be the end result. We got four meatballs, some mashed potatoes here with our broccoli. With par I think there's Parmesan on the broccoli. Oh my goodness, I'm actually low-key kind of full, but um, I, w I got out of bed at like past 1. I got out of bed at like 1.30, so I only got out of bed 4 hours ago, and it is now 5.25 p.m. I'm probably not going to finish cooking. Okay, no. no, I'll just peel on the board. I probably won't finish... Um cooking till like 7.30 so I cook incredibly slow especially since I have to peel these potatoes now too thankfully oh god I'm so scared okay so when I was younger my brother actually peeled part of his I think his thumb off he was peeling exactly the same thing he was peeling potatoes and he actually peeled part of his thumb off and those were the, those weren't even that round of potatoes. They were just normal sized potatoes. These guys, it's kind of hard to peel. Bruh. They're so small and round. Jesus. Hi Miko. Just woke up from a nap. I mean you could say I kind of just woke up from a nap too four hours ago. <laughs> oh, we got out of bed four hours ago. Okay, first one's done. Oh god, how long did that take? We got two, four, six, eight more. 
potatoes. God dang it. I mean, technically, I don't have to make... No, I want mashed potatoes. I forget about mashed potatoes. If we make mashed potatoes, we can throw so much butter in there. The unfortunate thing is that my mom is going to be eating as well, I think. Although, she has to leave at 7 or something. And I don't think I'm going to be able to cook this by 7. Despite... This one is also supposed to only take 35 minutes. But I think there's so much... There's a lot of multitasking with this recipe as well that we're going to have to um, pre-do stuff just like yesterday instead of doing multiple things at once. I'm going to have to prep everything and try to figure out, lay out the different instructions for different things, but I didn't fully read what the um, the steps are, the instructions, I just know that I think there's a lot of multitasking because I'm supposed to be baking like turkey, and then while I'm baking turkey, I'm supposed to be working on like cranberry glaze and mashed potatoes and broccoli and oh my god, just a lot we have to worry about so anyways I want to see if I can try to make this in under two hours without peeling a section of my thumb off I don't want twinsy thumbs with my brother oh god Actually, I think he used this exact same peeler to peel his thumb off. It was this. I'm sure somewhere deep within the metal, there's still his blood from like 15 years ago. <laughs> it was so long ago. It's back in the village days. I've been living in the city. For 11 years now. Holy smokes. That's crazy. You know what's insane? Is that I've been in the city for um, 11 years. And I'm only just starting to learn it because of cycling. But better late than never. Just like cooking, right? I'm slowly learning how to cook. I feel like when I was making my food yesterday, I transferred the minimal skills that I learned <laughs> to yesterday's dish. I've learned so many things. Oh my god, I learned something new just today from this meat, this this uh, this recipe already. So in one of the instructions, one of the steps, it is. Um, Put parchment paper on a baking sheet. I did not understand what a baking sheet was. I thought it was literally like a sheet. And it turns out a baking sheet is just a, like the baking pan. Why do they not call it a baking pan? It's a, it's a pan. Why is it a sheet? I don't... Anyways, thank God for Google. I was so confused. Because it asks for parchment paper. I'm like, wait, why do I need to put parchment paper on a baking sheet if there's already a sheet? I also don't know if these are edible. Like, I don't know how to tell if potatoes are good or not. But I'm going to just say yes. We're going to eat them. I'm sure it's fine. Hi, Dutch friends. Hi, Affleck. Ugh, I got a piece of potato. Baking paper. Baking sheet. And parchment paper. I don't know what parchment paper is. I have back there. It's like the white, waxy paper. 
Okay. Oh, we're halfway done. We're almost done. I really wish they gave us easier to peel potatoes, but what you gonna do? This is this is what life was. This is what life gave us. Specifically HelloFresh. Gotta deal with it. I don't know what he's barking at. Bark, bark, bark. Oops. Bennett gets really... Bennett! I guess really, um... Angst when I'm in the kitchen. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm not normally in the kitchen for a long period of time. So he's like, well, why the heck is she in there? She doesn't really trust my cooking skills or something, which is a little bit offensive. Peel it fast, it looks cooler. Dude, this is at, I'm actually going at maximum speed right now. I can't go faster. I'm trying my best here. Hi, okay, girl. Hi, Name. I'm going to just throw this out. It was looking kind of scuffed. Wait. We just started and it looks scuffed already? Bennett, I think he's barking at my peeling. Hey, come here. Bennett, come here. Son of a gun. I just saw dogs on the other side of the street. I thought he was barking at my peeler hitting the cutting board. Our neighbors rooting about. Holy crap, guys. I played Call of Duty until 3 a.m. yesterday. The night prior to yesterday night, I was thinking to myself, hmm, maybe I should change my sleeping schedule so that I sleep earlier but wake up earlier. Because current, I mean, at the moment, I have my sleeping schedule as like I sleep at 2 a.m. and then I wake up later. But I want to change that because, um, you know, sun's slowly starting to set earlier, and if I if I sleep in longer, then I have less sunlight, aka less biking time. <sighs> the eyes? Well, I just use this. Works great. Oh, what is this? You don't need no knife for this pew. Pe Peeler does everything. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah. So the night prior, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start sleeping earlier and then waking up earlier. And then legit last night, I played Call of Duty until 3 a.m. So I'm a little bit tired right now. My kitchen is damn hot. I probably should have taken the temperature into account. I'm used to being in the basement, so it's like, it's always cold. I legit am always cold. When I was playing COD yesterday, my hands were freezing until my computer it so, so, slowly became a toaster. It slowly became a portable heater, but prior to that point, it was so cold. My friend even suggested that I should turn on the portable heater, but dude, it's summer. I'm not going to turn on a portable heater. What the? 
waste of energy, electricity. Oh my god, last potato, jeez. My iron hands are putting in work. Wait, how long has it been? I've been peeling for 15 minutes? Has it been that long? Oh gosh. Why did they give us these potatoes? Okay. My suggestion is if you are going to ever get a meal from HelloFresh, don't get something that has mashed potatoes or else they'll give you these potatoes. The tiniest, roundest potatoes ever. The meals and the recipes are good so far that we've had. We've had two, but delicious, but god damn! These potatoes! Use a fork to hold the potato down. I'm, I'm done. It's okay. Ugh, that was the last potato. Have peel on for mashed potato? That doesn't sound right. That don't sound right at all. Now we gotta cut these into one inch pieces. We did that yesterday. So I know how big to make the potatoes. You know how big. Just cut them in half. Okay. Right? Let's make sure. Uh, peel potatoes cut into one inch pieces. Okie dokie. And just cut them in half. I mean, I didn't make my potatoes super clean, so we kind of have the peel on. Semi. Oh yeah, I forgot. My hair might get in the way. Nope, oh, sorry if that was loud. That probably sounded really loud. This one I'm gonna make into three pieces because it's kind of big. I mean, honestly, if I cut them, I mean, I'm mashing them anyways, so it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter how big they are. I mean, I guess you want them relatively the same size because for, like, cooking purposes. Okay, add potatoes. Okay, and then so we're going to, it says to start boiling the potatoes, but I'm not going to do that right now because... Uh, like I said, I can't multitask, so I'm going to just put it in the pot and leave it there for now and start prepping the other stuff. Hair's not on the menu. Although, if you're Chinese, you'll know that there's this one seafood, oh, is this seaweed? There's this one seaweed dish that... Looks like hair. I, I actually call it like, we actually do call it hair soup because it looks like hair. Okay, so potatoes, one tablespoon of salt. So we're not going to deal with that for now. So we're just going to come back to step one afterwards. So then we want to peel, then mince or grate garlic. We learned how to do that yesterday. Again, you know, skills from the last dish transferring over to this new dish, which is what I love. I'm loving the cooking streams because I'm learning, I'm actually learning different skills from all these meals. And we're just like, um, yeah, using it for each dish. Okay, so the recipe calls for two garlic cloves, but I think I'll use three because, you know, uh, chat, you guys suggested to use three. I mean, sorry, I, the, the, the recipe yesterday called for one garlic clove, but you guys suggested to use more, so I used two garlic cloves, and I feel like that was great. 
Yes, we're vampire free cooking. I still am not the greatest at peeling garlic, but you guys have taught me that I think I'm supposed to, is it here? Like if I cut, if I cut here, is it here? I actually don't know which side I'm supposed to cut. Is it here? Maybe it's this side I'm supposed to cut. I don't know. Oh, the hard bit. Oh, so I cut the wrong end. It's so hard to cut off. Okay, so then this side I cut the wrong end off. And then you smash it. So this is what I learned yesterday. You're supposed to like push it until you hear that crack, I think. Oh my God. It escaped. Okay. Okay. And now it should peel. <laughs> wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait. Ah, <laughs> oh, here. Okay, there. Wait. Oh, no. I think I do have to smash it. Or do I? I think I have to smash it more. Oh. It was so much easier yesterday. I didn't have to smash it that much. There. Oh my god, it is really hot. Holy crap, why is it so hot? Oh no, I'm gonna be a sweaty chef. Sweaty Ethereus. There we go, it's coming off nice like that. And then we do, let's smash this one. Close. I know you want to come off. Don't be afraid. Shed your skin, baby. Show the world your insides. Beautiful. So now we have to mince the garlic so I didn't do this very well yesterday I still don't know how I should mince but I'm just gonna try this Um, okay, we'll just slowly cut, um, we'll slowly cut. I think my cutting technique is, like, getting better at least, kind of. I don't know how to deal with these ends, though. I don't like it when it gets skinny. Not sure what to do. So, we'll just do that. Ugh, where the... Yeah, I don't know how to cut tiny foods. My axe, buddy! This is the axe. What you talking about, Willis? Emily Hero cosplay? Do Hero... Don't heroes use two-handed swords? Eh. 
Um, Todd, okay, is this, this is good enough mints, whatever. Hopefully. Maybe we don't want super thick piece, like what the heck is this? Did I even mince this? I don't think I did. Yeah, I think heroes use two-handed swords. Ugh. Why am I still full? Okay, I purposely tried to not eat much today. I only had a bowl of corn. And... Like a tiny bit of salmon. I'm still full. I had that four hours ago. Two handed axe on hero. Wait, do people actually run that though? I think I put you guys here. some did I even say hi yet hello hope you're doing well there won't be any streams tomorrow because tomorrow is my nine hour movie day oh my god not nine hour movie day it's more than nine hours dude tomorrow's like an 11 hour or even 12 hour movie day oh god I'm I feel like I'm gonna regret it so what's the plan for watching three movies back to back in a theater? Here's the issue. Um, I'm watching two movies in in the same theater, and then I have to drive to another theater to watch the third movie, the later movie. I'm thinking I'm going to bring a blanket in. Maybe I'll bring a tiny Ziploc bag of chips. I don't want to, like, eat too many chips. I'll bring some Lara bars. In case I get hungry. I feel like one Lara bar actually fills me up really well. AMC A-list. We don't have AMC in Canada. Fast, like Gordon Ramsay minces garlic. It's such a tiny piece of food. Do you think Ramsay, Chef Ramsay, cuts this in like a minute? I'm gonna go into my car to the other theater and decide to just drive home. I mean, technically. So, my first two movies I cannot refund, but my third movie I can refund 30 minutes prior to the showing. So, I don't know, after Barbie, I can see how I'm feeling. I feel like two movies should be doable. It's just a, a concern of three movies. Ah. So, if my third, but the issue is I really want to watch, I feel like if I'm going to watch a movie in the theaters, it should be Mission Impossible, and unfortunately that last movie is Mission Impossible. I mean, unfortunately and fortunately, because if I am going to watch three movies, you know, it's better that Mission Impossible is last, but also at the same time, I feel like if I'm going to... If I have to watch any movie in the theaters, it, it should be Mission Impossible. Okay, it's so hot, I should keep my turkey in the fridge for now. It, it, it's so warm right now, I'm actually, I'm sweating. I just showered before stream. 
I just showered before my stream and I'm ready. You know, I already need another stream. I'm sweating. Oh God. This isn't good. Okay. Now. Cut broccoli into bite-sized pieces. I should wash the broccoli first. Maybe if we wash it in the bag? Am I smart or am I stupid? Oh! I don't know. We're gonna do another round. <laughs> Shake it all up. Oh god, just don't accidentally spill the broccoli out. Okay. I'm a genius! Okay. Now we cut these into bite-sized pieces. Um, I don't know what's considered bite size. I've never cut broccoli before. How's it look? So their broccoli looks like this. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. This is bite size, right? Or is that too small? Is this bite size? I don't know. That might be good. Like, is, is this bite size? Um, hmm, okay, I mean, I don't want it too small, I guess. Maybe it depends on how big your mouth is. These are all sorts of different sizes. Oh, no. Well, Oh my god, like the, oh no, these ones just kind of fell apart. Oh. 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 Well. I mean, at the end of the day, it'll taste the same. No matter what size it is. Yeah, I know, I'm getting better at cutting. Because this is my third meal in three days. So, you would hope I take away at least one thing from this entire experience. I hope to take away cutting skills. What's a high haven? Mm hmm, I'll cut this. Oh god, this is so weird. This is a weird piece. This is a lot of broccoli. Well, I guess it's for two people. It's not that much. Using the same knife for everything? Wait, what's wrong with that? Don't you do the same? I feel like every Asian uses the same cleaver for everything, but detriments you're white, so maybe you don't have the same experience. <laughs> I know for a fact my dad uses the cleaver for everything. I don't 
overkill. Do you know that you have to peel the broccoli before cutting them? You're tr you're trolling me. I know you don't have to cut broccoli. Motherfucker, I eat these raw. I dip them in ranch. You think... Okay, I'm not brain dead. I'm stupid, but I'm not brain dead. Nice try, though. Dipping veggies in ranch negates the healthiness of them. I am not eating vegetables to be healthy. I'm eating it because it tastes good. I don't care if it's unhealthy. I very much know ranch is unhealthy, and that makes me dip it in more ranch. I cover this entire thing. I cover my broccoli in ranch so much so you don't even see any green. It's just pure white. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Cut the stem. I was considering, I don't, like, I, I think if it was more, I don't think these stems need to be cut, right? I so. Chinese broccoli. Is there Chinese broccoli? I didn't know there's different ethnicities for broccoli. I mean, this it's from Hello Fresh, so it has to be white people broccoli. Right? Is this big enough? Do I have a different pan? I'm gonna see if a different pan. Hmm, actually, no, it's fine. Okay, I have to fit four pieces of meatball here. Or I have to fit eight, yeah, eight meatballs, this is fine. half parmesan half the garlic to a large bowl so this is the parmesan i might add more parmesan i love parmesan i guess i can sprinkle parmesan on after which is probably why we're only taking half the parmesan now instead of be sprinkling it on after. Oh no, because also for the broccoli. And I, yeah, I have more parmesan if I need onions. Oh 
Okay. Half. Okay, let's grab. Let's screen first. Let's grab half the Parmesan here. Right? That's about half. That was not half. <laughs> I'll grab a little bit more. Okay. Got half the Parmesan here. I'm gonna move my broccoli a little bit so you guys can see. And then half the garlic. And then what do I need? Half Parmesan, half garlic, season with quarter tablespoon salt. Okay, I actually have tablespoons this time. Um, and stuff. I have measuring things. Instead of eyeballing stuff and whatnot so this is oh wow i didn't actually take a look so it's this is one eighth of a teaspoon so this is oh ha we have exactly a quarter of a teaspoon here that's perfect so we need this amount of salt and pepper so it's a quarter tea table tea <laughs> Quarter teaspoon salt and quarter teaspoon pepper? Is that? Okay. Looks about good. And now the pepper. I guess I'll, should I just stick it in there? Pour it out so I don't get salt. Oh god! Maybe not too much pepper? I don't know. Not too much. Okay. Um, I'll put you over here. Then combine roll mixture into eight equal sized meatballs. Okay, so we're gonna have to handle more meat today. So let's mix all this up. So we're gonna be coating our turkey meatballs in this um, combination here. Nom nom nom. Let's grab the turkey. They already minced the turkey for us, which is nice because I don't know how to mince turkey. Well, meat. Well, I feel like it'd be kind of fun. That is a lot of blood. Okay, but we can pour it out in the sink. That's what I learned from meal number one. Pour blood out in the sink. Let's move these over here. Don't want to contaminate. Oh God! All pure, I guess. Okay. What are the clumps? Garlic. Like maybe they shouldn't be that clumpy, hey? <laughs> Because I was supposed to mince or grate garlic, and that's just kind of me mincing it. This is my minced garlic. I mean, it do be what it do be. I can't, they're already in the powder. I can't mince it more or something. How do I open this?
I guess I need scissors. Unless. Unless. Ah. Uh, oh. 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 Okay, let's pour out the blood. save the blood for anything? Is there a reason to like not dump it out? Um, should I wash my hands? I'm gonna wash my hands in here. start cooking faster someday because holy crap this ain't it okay look at that minced turkey I'll throw it in here. Oh my god, there's paper in here. Jeez, do not throw that in. Holy, I was about to dump this piece of paper in there too. Didn't realize there was that. Actually, it's funny. It reminds me of a story. My So we had like these uh, pre-made dim sum things that we bought from... Chinese supermarket and so my dad he threw it all into the steamer right um turns out that each of those um dim sum thingies had a piece of paper underneath them so when he took a bite out of the bow he ate some of the paper <laughs> Then sneaky paper. It's kind of hard to tell when they're there. Okay. I'm washing my hands so often. I guess that's not a bad thing. Okay. And then after mixing this, we're gonna have to. Roll it into eight balls. Oh my gosh, there's actually gonna be gar uh, garlic chunks in, in, in our turkey. I hope that's okay. Those are really big chunks. Yesterday it was fine this size because it was just in our salad. But now it's in our meatballs. Ooh, I hope it's okay. I do like garlic. I mean, the recipe asked for two cloves. I put in three. Well mixed, right? Okay. Let's start rolling them up. Ooh, this is where my hand's gonna get 
a little bit gross. Okay. First time watching someone do HelloFresh. Well, technically, this isn't a sponsored stream anymore. I already did my two, but I have, I got like five meals from them, so I figured it's kind of like free content. I might as well just do it. And I can use this to better my cooking skills. Okay. I mean, I already am improving my cutting skills, so. I am, I did improve something. Oh, <gasps> oops, I'm supposed to be preheating the oven. Preheat oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Wait, to like, am I roasting it or what am I doing? Roast, so I should press roast, I think. Right? It says, Roast in the middle, so I'm just gonna press the roast button. Roast to 450 degrees. Oh god, we're using the oven and it's already hot. Okay. How should I do this? How do I make it not stick to my hands? Does anyone have any tips? So I feel like once I start rolling, it's going, it's going to get on my hands. No, I don't have AC. Oh God, I'm sweating. Um, I'm thinking like, should I put oil on my hands? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's not a thing. Gloves? I don't really have. I think I just have to use my hands. Okay. I'll... Okay, whatever. I'll just... Water on the hands. Okay. How's oh, my God, look at that chunk of garlic. Oh, my God. I hope this is a good size meatball. That is, oh god. My mom, oh my god. That garlic. Oh. Oh, there's so much. Some are going to have a lot of garlic and some are going to have none. Oh my god. Wait, the water's not helping. It's still so sticky. Maybe I'll have more. I'll add a little bit more meat. This one's not looking that great. Ew. <laughs> Why are my balls not looking good? Wait, I feel I thought they looked pretty good. Dude, look at that garlic! Oh my god, I messed up. Maybe I should try grating next time. Okay, they actually look better when I use two hands. Okay. Any more water? Can you eat turkey raw? Okay, that's such a stupid question. I highly doubt you can. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Fourth one here? No. Hi, locks.
very gooey ASMR. Sorry. Hey, Bull. Ooh, it looks like they got little pimples on them. I need more water. Wait, that's six. So I just need to make two more meatballs. Oh my! This is this is <laughs> wait. This is a chunker. Oh, maybe I should make it more evenly sized. Take some meat off. Thank you. I do have very nice balls. I agree. Okay, and then you can make. Ooh, I'm gonna have to add some meat to some of the other balls because we're getting a little chunky. A little bit chunky. How am I supposed to scrape the rest of the meat out? Ball still looking chunky. No, I guess it's like a normal size ball, right? Let's just uh, make this one a little bit more round again. I feel like they're getting a little bit like chunkier as you go. Oh wait, this one's actually kind of chunky. Okay. And then re roll this. Bam. Like that. Okay. I hope that is spread out good enough because I, mean, I can't do bigger. Ooh. Today, jeez. Ben. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Ben. in front of our house. Somebody's going crazy. Okay. Oh, should I cook, start cooking the potatoes? <laughs> Meanwhile, heat a large nonstick pan over medium heat. When hot, add broccoli. Add broccoli, quarter cup water. And then I'll have to add a but the butter, garlic, until butter melts and garlic is fragrant. 
and then you sprinkle the part. Oh my god, this part is so complicated. <gasps> okay, I'm going to start boiling the potatoes now then. Add potatoes, one tablespoon of salt, and enough water. Okay. Enough water to cover the potatoes. So, just what we did yesterday. Someone told me two fingertips. Okay, there we go, two fingers. And then we have to add a teaspoon of salt in there. Oops, sorry. It must have been loud. A teaspoon of salt. Wait, one teaspoon's big. Oh, damn. I was not using enough yesterday. I mean, it still tasted good yesterday. Wait, how much? One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon. We'll add this much. Oh, I did not I did not use nearly as much as that. I used like a quarter of that yesterday. Start boiling this. Okay. Now that that's done, so the potatoes. We're gonna, okay, so let's just worry about the broccoli. Okay. So heat a large nonstick pan over medium heat. It's hot, we add the broccoli and quarter cup water. Quarter cup water. I guess we don't have to be super precise. It's just water. These are these are Western meals. What are you talking about? We're seasoning like a white person because these are white meals. <laughs> um okay, so what happens so once the potatoes are boiling? Oh, I have to put it on high heat for the potato. Oh, I am. Okay. And then once it's boiling, we bring it down to a, a medium simmer. So for 10 minutes. Okay. Um, what do we do with this? So once it's 450 degrees, currently our oven is 427. We missed 420. Rip. Okay, so we just have to worry about the broccoli, I think, right? Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't even want to read this part. It's so thick. Does every house have the exact same glass measuring cup? I feel like you see this everywhere. Like, who doesn't have a cup like this? But the question is, what brand is your measuring cup? Because mine is Anchor Hawking. Like, is yours also Anchor Hawking? Ah. Pyrex? They just all look like this. They universally look like this, but they're different brands. Yours is Pyrex? How do you guys 
guys just know the measuring? How do you guys know what brand your measuring cup is do you, off the top of your head? Add broccoli, quarter cup water, and continue stirring occasionally. Ugh. It's a big brand. Oh, you have like multiple Pyrex stuff or something? Is this hot? Ooh, we almost at um, 450 degrees on the oven. It's just the measuring cup? Oh. <laughs> I only learned. Like, I didn't need, I used this every single meal so far that we've cooked the past three days. I, I only just read the brand today. I just see a plastic cup with numbers and I buy it. There. Wait, okay. Wait, what do I do with this? Add tur- okay, so I have to cook it for 12 minutes. Okay. We put the turkey balls in now. 12 minutes. Ooh. Oh god, okay, I'm scared. Timer, 12. <sighs> right, that's all? Add turkey and have the parmesan to blah 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 roast in the middle of onion uh, uh, onion roast in the middle of oven until golden brown. Okay, now we deal with the broccoli. I'm gonna put the water in first. No. water evaporates. And then after that we add one tablespoon of butter and remaining garlic. Okay. Wait, are my potatoes boiling yet? I forgot about my potatoes. No, these are slipper Dude, we have house slippers. I do not wear outside shoes inside. That's gross. We wear slippers in this house. It's a croc household. I'm gonna have to stir that thing up. Okay, let's get the butter ready. So I need a tablespoon of butter, but I love butter. No, we don't. I don't got it in sports mode. Oh, now my potatoes are boiling. Okay. Um, so then I lower it down, lower the heat to simmer the potatoes. Dude, I. Yeah, no, if, if, if someone wears shoes in the house, I will still take my shoes off. I don't know. It's so weird wearing shoes inside. It's disgusting. It's so weird. I don't understand. How do people, like, put shoes on their furniture as well? That's your next. How am I supposed to know if my... Oh god, my phone is heating from the steam. Ugh. Please don't kill my phone. Oh 
bring you over here. I can't tell because my piece of paper is covering it. How do them balls look? Nice and round, that's all I know. Can I invest in a proper spatula? No. does it? Okay, let's put the butter in. I don't know how much a tablespoon of butter is, but this should be good, right? Bam. Parmesan on now? I mean, I 
guess it says to put it on now. That's a lot of Parmesan! looking. I can't tell. I can't tell when my oven's not open. I'm gonna trust the process. It said 12 minutes. I'm gonna trust the process. think I have a 
thermometer? No? Yeah, are these okay? Should I put them in a little longer? I'll throw them in for two minutes. I'll put it in for two more minutes. potatoes until smooth. Oh shit, how do I know when my, I forgot when my potatoes. You know, I'm gonna deal with my balls first. tablespoon butter and milk into potatoes. So I need to dump the water first. See what happens. The fork 
was for the potatoes? I don't know. I, I can't tell how I'm supposed to know. It looks pretty good, I think. This is, a, this is done. This is done. The potatoes are 100% done. Okay, it is now time to mash them. So I like throw it in a colander, I think, right? And then, and then we mash the potatoes. the meatballs I made. Anyways, we're gonna cook it more with some sauce anyways. I'm just gonna cover this for now. <laughs> just to keep it warm. <laughs> of butter in actually just this whole thing right here all this butter that should be good that'll taste so good that'll taste so good no guys trust the process Trust the process. Okay, what do I have to add? Two tablespoons of milk. Okay. some potatoes with your butter. That is how I like it. What is a tablespoon? This is a tablespoon. That's it? You only two tablespoons of milk, really? Seems like so little. Yeah, my sister has a mashed potato thing, so my mom suggested I use this to mash my potatoes, so I'm just going to use this. Okay. Um, should I put salt in here? Okay, I'm just going to mash it first. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's mashing so easily. Wait, this is so easy. Oh, I was scared this is going to be hard. It's not even bad. Okay, we just got to mix. the butter around and then add some salt after and we're good wow that was so easy holy okay let's try it i think i need to put salt mm. oh oh my god oh my god you can really taste the butter that's so good. We definitely need some salt in here. I don't know how much. I just threw in a random amount. I'm gonna add some pepper too. I'm gonna mix it first. I think potatoes and butter has to be one of my favorite things to eat. I love mashed potatoes. Even with pancakes, I need a crap ton of butter on my pancakes. Okay, let's see how it tastes. I'm going to add some pepper in here too, actually. I don't know, is that enough? I don't have any green stuff today. Oh no, wait, I have broccoli. <laughs> I forgot I have broccoli. Cooking stream. We're doing a cook-a-thon. Dude, I've done three cooking streams in a row now, except tomorrow I can't do a cooking stream because I'm watching three movies back to back. You're in just chatting? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm happy you noticed that. this I think I need more salt oh my god that's a lot of salt holy shit I didn't mean to add that okay oh my god okay I just put in a giant clump oh god please don't have ruined my potatoes if all else fails, I'll just add more butter. It'll negate the salt, I think. Oh, yes. some. Well, I don't have cream, but I have milk. Oh, my God. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> I'm getting so tired. <laughs> Okay, this is enough mixing, right? No, it's not salted butter. I'm gonna try some now. Is it, does it need more? No, it tastes good. Do I need more salt? It tastes good, but it doesn't taste amazing, you know? I'm going to try a little bit more. Mm. Mm, should I add more salt? I don't know what it's missing. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it. I'd rather have it 
like this, then have too much salt, right? I don't want too much. Okay, so the last thing on the menu that we have to do. Oh, frick, I'm sweating ass right now. Okay. Oh, okay, in that pan. So we have to do the cranberry glaze now. So I was gonna add more butter. Um, I actually wouldn't mind to be honest, but my mom's also eating. Oh, I should put my milk away. It's so hot. Okay, when you guys see my face, don't laugh at me because I'm actually sweating. Okay. Heat same pan over medium low. When hot, add cranberry spread. Broth concentrate and two tablespoons of water until sauce thickens. Blech. So then that means I did put the chicken broth in the right bag. Okay, so I'll have to put these two bags in. Two tablespoons of water. And then we just mix, mix, mix. Cooking is tiring. <laughs> I'm so tired. No, I'm not cooking tomorrow. I have to watch three movies. Okay, I'm going to show you guys me, okay? Oh, <laughs> I'm sweating. Wait, the frame rate. I'm sweating. I'm just, I'm done. I'm so hot. I'm waiting for the pan to heat. Oh, Monday. Um, I don't know. I want to I do another cooking stream on Monday and Tuesday because I have two more bags of the HelloFresh. I am still full. It is 7 p.m. What the heck? I barely ate today. Oh, God. I think we have to start. Start dealing with this, okay. It's low key burning. Spread broth concentrate two tablespoons of water cook stirring often until sauce thickens remove from heat then season with salt and pepper okay is it thick yet it should only take like two minutes um I'm gonna move my broccoli and my meatballs over here Pretty thick to me. Take it off the pan. It's hot, it's hot. Move it over. Um, season with salt and pepper, bro. I don't know. I'm not really supposed to know how it's supposed to taste. Anyways, I'm 
just gonna move my meat now. My meat bowels. This is not the efficient way to do this. Okay. sponsored by them. I mean, this isn't a sponsored stream, but I got the package for free, so. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hi, arthritis. Hi, growing. Who is Naomi? Your mom. All of our moms. What is it? So then, this is all I do? Just like glaze the meatballs and that's it. Oh. I thought I was gonna cook the meatballs in the cranberry sauce. Okay, I guess not. I guess we're done. We're done. I guess. Okay, let's get to plating. All right. How are we gonna make all of this look like this? I sound very stressed. Yeah. Dude, I feel like this was more complicated than every single meal has been just more and more complicated. And I am quite stressed. Um, okay. Ugh. I hope this tastes good. Like, I'm scared it doesn't taste good. Oh yeah, and I'm sweating right now. It is, it is like ten times hotter than the other things as well. Mashed potatoes first and broccoli. Okay. Yes. Mashed potatoes first. It's vegan? Brother, I have turkey! It's vegan. Hey, good thing I have a spatula. I can get the spoon. You know what I can do with the spoon? I'm gonna lick it. Let's lick it. Do you think this is hot? Will I regret this? Hmm. It's really good. Holy, I am so sweaty. I am so sweaty. Look at me. I'm a mess. I look like a crazy lady. Uh. Uh, it is really good. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's let's plate it now. Let's plate it. Okay. We are going to grab some mashed potatoes. Let's actually portion it maybe, like half and half it. Let's make this easy for ourselves so we can make it like even. Good thing I have a spatula. You guys are telling me to get a proper spatula. Well, this one at least works for my mashed potato. Okay, so bam! Half of this and half of that. So that's two servings right there. I can't pick it up. Oh, okay. I 
I have very nice props, thank you. I have we have yellow ones, I have light blue ones, I have a dark blue one, we have a black crocs. Um we got crocs for guests when they come over. You get a croc and you get a croc and you get a croc and I get a croc. Everyone gets a croc. That pins on them. Um, no, but some of them, ha I actually know one of them has, like, bedazzles on them. On the, on, like, the seatbelt of the car. And then I have a few that have fur inside, which actually is a little bit gross because it becomes kind of, like, sweaty. Okay, so in order for it to look like this, I have to kind of spread it out and create a bowl. A bowl-like shape with my mashed potatoes so that I can put the turkey in the middle but you kind of want to like smooth it out too it doesn't look too harsh I'm gonna put the turkey in the middle there but maybe like a thin coating of turkey to like really create that Nice. Okay. And then kind of like maybe we spread it out a little bit, smoothen it out a little bit more. Like that. Okay. Not too much. We want it to make it look like we intentionally made it look like a bowl, but it is a bowl. But, you know, you don't want it to be outright screaming, I am a bowl of mashed potatoes. Okay, and then now we put the, where's my spoon? Here. Okay. And now we put four balls of turkey in here, into the bowl. Oh no, We're contaminating it a little bit. Maybe get a, a, some sauce, some sauce. You know, I have a spatula for a reason. Get some of the sauce onto that turkey here. The turkey balls. Like this. Just kind of glaze it over, rub it over a little bit. A little bit more sauce in there. Right? Just a little bit more sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, it fell into the pan. Good. You want to leave enough sauce for the other dish as well. Right? Okay, so we got four meatballs here. Like that. And then now we gotta put our um, broccoli on. So again, we have to have it. It's two portions. So, like that, I guess. Should be good. And then you just kinda plop it on there. Like that. These broccolis are definitely overcooked. They're <laughs> kind of mushy. Um, hopefully it still tastes good. And now, how does this look? Is it, it looks like it's missing something. Maybe a little bit of like mash on this side. This isn't my most like well presented piece of food, but what do you guys think? How's this look? Would you eat this? <coughs> Excuse me. I want to take a picture now. Take some pictures. Get rid of 
have some of the junk here. Thank you, Jerry. Mom! I wish I had more like cranberry sauce. I have more cranberry sauce. Yeah. He's sick of Come lay him. Very good one. Looks good one. Oh, see you come. God, do go ye more parmesan. They want to use God, daughter parmesan, not like the um, all I'm not drinking. I saw a D. No, D. Well, D. You own D. D. Toya. D. Toya. Let me use again. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Like, you go to your daughter heen, or you go to your daughter the cranberry heen, because the, in Wazili, you got the parmesan, not the broccoli, because, I'm sorry. Like, you can go. Thank you. Okay, let's see how. Wait, let's see. Yup, the yuk do sin, make sure I saw. Yeah? Yeah, so good. Okay. Yeah. See how. I'm gonna. Okay, I need my dish. I said, my Oh, okay. Good job. Well, gum gum, me. I'll say, I'm like, 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 I don't know. She never gives straight answers. <laughs> she never gives straight answers. I think it's a I don't know. She said okay. <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna put my potatoes on here. Let's plate my my own dish. I think that was a stamp of Asian parent approval. That's like the best you'll get, I think, when it comes to that. Ain't gonna get better than that. We love the spatula. We can use it to pan fry and scrape. We're never getting a new one. Why, Jola? Okay. Hey, that doesn't look bad, actually. The potatoes? We didn't even have to shape it much. It looks more natural this way. Okay. Now, let's put the balls on. Pre-made what? I didn't, so... I made my own potatoes and the broccoli and I didn't make the the cranberry sauce though. And I didn't mince the turkey myself. I baked it. But and I rolled it and I put garlic in. But Oh gosh, oh hold on gosh, oh title garlic lot the uh no, it tastes good. Because I'll see the garlic whole die. Tastes no, good. Sorry. Really okay. good. Thank you. Huh? Some of them. No. I'm trying to get all the cranberry 
sauce that I can. A wooden spoon can't do this. There. There we go. Okay, there. Get rid of the spoon and take some pictures. Do, do, do. This one looks more photogenic. Why do you look more photogenic than the other dish? Because I didn't plate it? You didn't... I didn't man make the shape of the potatoes this time? Is that why? Man shaping it ruins the... Okay. Well, there we go. We have our, tell me how's it look? So this is how HelloFresh says it looks. And this is how my dish looks. Basically the same. Identical, right? You can't tell the difference except their broccoli looks maybe like two times fluffier than mine maybe oh, okay let's eat let's eat let's eat la. again i'm really sweaty i'm sorry hi dim sum Oh, look at me. I need another shower already. Holy smokes. I'm so, okay, I, I gotta wash my hands in. This is gnarly. Gnarly, gnarly. Right here. Okay. Oh, we need a thumbnail, so we gotta take a picture of my greasiness, my sweaty ass with the dish. Okay, now we smile. <laughs> Get all them angles for the thumbnail. <laughs> Here's my cranberry glazed turkey meatballs with Parmesan broccoli. Okay. Oh, speaking of Parmesan. Yeah, Costco size parm. But do I need it? Let me try it first. Hmm. Hmm. You can't go wrong with more parm, right? Okay, well, I added some clumps of parmesan. <laughs> Oops. It's okay, you just break it. You spread it over. Boom. Like that. Now it looks like I'm eating cauliflower. Am I still real parm? I've never had real parm. 
um, and it's very expensive so I never want to try real parm otherwise I'm never gonna like the cheaper parm even the cheaper parm is kind of expensive okay the real question is are the meatballs overcooked I probably didn't need to put it in for the extra minute, honestly. But not bad. They come go bow. I'm gonna say. Um, do I like this more than my other dishes? Mm. So it's good? It's really good. But I think I started off too strong with the honey garlic chicken. I don't think anything's gonna top that. And we progressively have, in terms of my, my taste buds, we're going like downwards in the rankings for my preferences in dishes. Again, it's good, but I love honey garlic. And now the complexity of the dishes are going up. So the flavor, my, my enjoyment of each dish is like slightly going down. And the work, input work is going up. I still like it though. But yeah, this is from, uh, these, this is from HelloFresh. I already did two cooking streams. This is the third one. But yeah, I forget what the other... Okay, so we have bacon mushroom linguine left. And sweet and savory pork chops. I think the sweet and savory pork chops will be really good. And I really like pasta. So I think the enjoyment level will start like curving upwards, possibly. I'm not sure if I like the linguine more or the pork chops normally i like tomato sauce when it comes to pasta and this time it won't be tomato sauce so um i guess we'll see how that is challenge me to make a rack of lamb sponsor the rack of lamb and sure i'm only doing these cooking streams because i have free ingredients right now <laughs> Mm. And what happens when your broccoli is overcooked? I don't think it's bad. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. Okay, yeah, say that. Hey, my gone die, why? He's like, you're not lying, right? She sounded like. Her voice was wobbling. She's like, no. <laughs> no. I'm not. <clears throat> the stem gets soft. I don't know. 
feels super soft. It feels like the thing it's fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased because it's my own cooking. Like a raw carrot? Raw carrots are hard. So hard. Mmm. This is definitely good. The turkey, yeah. <clears throat> The turkey, yo, the cranberry, he you know. Mm hmm. This is much smaller than the other ones. Maybe it's because the honey garlic, I ate two servings. <laughs> yeah, this is, I feel like if I was hungry, this wouldn't be enough. Unless I ate the two servings. Feels very small. taking Bennett on a walk right now. I have a story I have to tell you guys that happened this morning. I tweeted about it. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> we'll finish our mukbang first. so happy I added the butter, the extra butter in my potatoes. You guys have no idea. I don't know if any of you guys have tried adding a lot of butter to your potatoes or your or your pancakes, but it just makes it taste a lot creamier, milkier, tastier, more more like I'm going to die at 30 years old, but you know, it tastes really good. my favorite flavor. I'm going to die from a heart attack at 30. Mm. I honestly don't care about, I guess, my or I don't pay attention enough about the textures of my food to really pay attention to to Gylon. Hmm? Edi I give Cylon Fa. Mm. <clears throat> In Cantonese, these are called wait, I met a Cylon Fa. Broccoli is called Cylon Fa. I just learned that. I'm gonna forget it in like two seconds. Hi, Virgil. <clears throat> yeah, I was re watching my streams just a little bit just to see how the quality is. And it's super ASMR. Holy. I kind of like it. 
I like how when I open the fridge or when I'm like chopping or when I wash my hands, you can kind of hear like when I'm moving over here, you can tell I'm over here. When I'm moving over here, you can tell I'm over here. I guess some people don't like that. Some people don't like ASMR, but if you want to hear, if you want to feel like you're in this dream, Wear headphones. It sounds really nice. <clears throat> oh, my mom's out now. She just left. Oh, I'm going to finish this last bite. down man I just get so concerned okay I have to tell you guys a story just a quick one let me let me drink some milk felt so good. I already drank out of the cart in the first stream. Uh, I mean, like, if I'm the only one drinking, why not? I, I don't put my lips on the rim. <clears throat> I, like, hold it up and I pour it in my mouth. What's wrong with that? If I'm the only one drinking out of it, right? <clears throat> okay, so I had a late start to my morning, right? I, will, I got out of bed at 1.30 p.m. because I played Call of Duty until 3 a.m. last night, which I deeply regret because now my sleeping schedule is probably all sorts of bonky, but whatever, that's a different issue. Um... I, so I come, I, I come upstairs, uh, I'm, I'm like making my lunch, you know, I have corn on the cob, but I don't like eating corn on the cob, so I'm like cutting off the, the corn from the cob so that I can melt butter onto it, and then I put cheese, and so this is like corn cheese, it's a Korean dish, but you're supposed to have mayonnaise, sugar, and stuff, and I'm too lazy, and I also don't have mayonnaise, so I just have corn, and then I have cheese. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Highly, highly suggest you try it um, with corn. It doesn't even have to be corn on the cob, you know? You just open a can of corn and, um, you know, use that instead. Anyway, so while I'm cutting the corn off my cob... My mom's just, she, it, it takes me a couple, like five minutes or something. That entire time, my mom's just like standing beside me using her phone. And, and I thought she's just messaging her friends uh, or prepping to go on a walk. Um, and then, and then, you know, a few minutes after I'm into like cutting the corn off my cob, she randomly shows me a picture of some random guy I've never seen in my life and she starts saying he's 29 he lives in Toronto and I'm like oh, okay so and then she goes on and says he he's a software developer um he is my my friend's son He's single, <laughs> and then I don't know. He just starts. She just starts like reading his resume to me. I'm like, dude, 
No, I'm not interested. What the heck? I don't know why she's just constantly setting me up with people. So I tell her that I'm not interested. And then she goes on to say, okay, well, that's fine. So what about this other guy that you guys might get along more? You guys might get along together more. He's a game developer and he's 26 years old and he lives in Calgary, so he's not in Toronto. He goes to the gym, he doesn't smoke, his mom's very pretty, so he should be handsome because she doesn't have a picture of him. And then she goes on to say, like, he's very respectful, yada, yada, yada. He's a game developer, so you guys should get along t together, right? <laughs> We're just like, man! <laughs> Oh, why why does she have like multiple candidates just lined up? Um, I, I highly doubt that these people even know like these guys that he, she's she's trying to set me up with even know But she just like has a whole row of candidates that she is trying to set me up with Because if you guys remember, oh my god, excuse me. You guys didn't hear that <clears throat> if You guys remember a few months ago, my mom was desperately, desperately trying to set me up with this one person that lives just a few blocks away from me. And he owns multiple houses. That was like her biggest selling point. He's in his like mid to late 30s, but, but he owns multiple houses. <laughs> and that's all I know about him. And, and apparently he goes bike riding sometimes too. And so my mom like ask me fi on five separate occasions if I'm interested in meeting him and on those five separate occasions I have said no I am not interested in meeting him I mean like he's in his mid to late 30s nothing wrong with that okay but I don't know man it's just weird being set up by mom and I don't know anything about this guy and you know I'm like 26 I don't know am I interested in a relationship at all um I mean you know I wouldn't mind <laughs> but I'm also very happy to be single at the moment <laughs> Kobe. yeah surely I'm super happy um welcome back overkill but yeah, no, I don't know. Isn't it just weird being set up by your parents, though? Like, if your mom or your dad was like, hey, here's this girl or here's this guy that I don't personally know. Sorry, like, my, my mom doesn't personally know them. She's, the, the, these guys are just, I think, either her friend's son's friends or maybe her friend's sons or maybe her friend's nephews so my mom's never personally met these people either but he owns multiple houses yeah that multiple house guy is a friend's friend so my mom's friend's friend <laughs> that she's also never met but She's met his that that multiple house guy's mom. There's this one time I was just like sitting outside in my, in in um I was just sitting outside along like in my yard, and I noticed this like one random Asian lady was walking past my house, and she was like staring at me. She was staring me down. She's like walking right, and she's she's just like making eye contact with me as she's walking past and and then she goes to the front door and then she starts chatting it up with my mom and apparently you know that 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 lady was a multiple house guy's mom and i guess i don't know if she was just like scouting me or something it was so weird if one of the houses has an ac go for it true though true cooking today was horrible i never realized how painful it is to cook i guess have the oven on when it's 20 i think it's 28 degrees celsius today so madden and mary <laughs> i haven't even met him yeah uh, 
I just find it funny how my mom is more like she's thirsty for me, you know? Actually, that sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? Saying she's thirsty for me. <laughs> wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait, I just realized how that sounds. She's not thirsty for me. She's thirsty for me. Like, she wants me to get in a relationship more than I want to get in a relationship, I think. Um, but on behalf of me, yes, those sequences of words sound better yes you're the last chance for her to get grandkids that's true parents saying no maidens is about the funniest thing to hear <laughs> i am maidenless i'm actually maidenless and it's this it's a disgrace to my mom i think that's why i have to sneeze Um, yeah, my brother and my sister don't want grandkids, and they've said already, I think, I'm pretty sure they said to my parents that they don't want kids, so I, I legit am the only chance for grandkids. My dad's getting old, he's 74, my mom's 64, so, you know, but I don't want kids in my 20s, what the heck? I don't even know if I want kids. I was discussing with my friend about like different issues about um, their younger sibling and I'm like, dude, how the f would I even handle this if it was my own kid? So I feel like this, if you were to have a kid in, in, in this day and age, it's so easy to just get like messed up, you know? It's so easy to because of social media and the internet, it's so easy to exp for your kids to get exposed to these really like messed up things or for them to get, I don't know, like self-confidence issues because of Instagram and like YouTube and f whatever, Twitter, everyone's on social media trying to make their lives look perfect. And I don't know, it's just so much, oh God, I don't even know if I want kids, dude. My personal opinion about relations that if you aren't motivated to look yourself, there shouldn't be a reason for your mom to look for you. Oh no, there should never be a reason for my mom to look for me. I'm not, I didn't even ask her. She's just like doing this on her own volition. But I think at the end of the day, you know, I'm not actually too peeved that she's showing me these like people. Cause that, you know, what if one day she shows me like Jay Chow, but a younger version of Jay Chow. And I'm like, oh my God, hell yeah you know so i'm not gonna tell her to well i mean i've obviously made it clear that i'm not interested in so far any of the people she's trying to set me up with which is like at least four people maybe five throughout the the the, the three years and like, <laughs> three years seven months and 26 days that i've been saying about <clears throat> you're gonna have to make food for them all the time then half the time they won't even want it. No, I ain't gonna be, if I get in a relationship, I ain't gonna be a sole cooker. Well, I guess he said half the time, so it'd be like split, but I hate cooking. Actually, I don't hate cooking that much. These three dishes have made me, but it's taking, it's taking me, I think it took me two hours to make this as well. Every single dish has made, taken me two hours. This also said it was gonna be 35 minutes. And it has still taken me two hours. I am so slow, jeez. <laughs> uh. My mom used to care about the race of people I date. Now she doesn't care. All my parents ideally want me to date Chinese, for sure. So either they get grandkids or you get n a new younger sibling. I was supposed to have a younger sibling, but... How my mom described it to me, because I was really young was my younger sibling flew away into the sky you can interpret that how you will but i am i am the last hope
I am the last hope. Oh, cooking for my kids. Oh, true. I didn't even think about cooking for kids. Ugh. Now I really don't want kids. <laughs> oh, that's all you have to say. And I now don't want to add to this to the population issue that the Earth has. Just, just like that. You have convinced me I don't want kids either. <laughs> if I get quicker with food, it'll be a lot more fun. Yeah, I, I think if I can cook faster, it'd be fun because it is kind of, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying trying out these different recipes, although I understand trying different recipes would also mean more money too. I don't know. I think I'm only having fun right now because all of this was free. Like, HelloFresh sent me the box of food for free. All five of these meals that I plan on doing cooking streams for, they're, all of it was free, except for, I guess, the butter that I used. The salt and pepper and the milk and this Parmesan that I should put away before it goes back. Dolphin fountain sent sibling into space. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Dogs and cats love whatever food you give them. No, oh my god, my sister had one dog. I blame my sister and my, well, my sister's boyfriend's parents for making him extremely picky. But Diesel, I don't know if anyone here remembers Diesel. He, he used to be one, like, he was partially my dog too. <clears throat> Um, when he was still living with me, he was, you know, he would go over the moon for just any type of dog food. And then, and then he got very, very spoiled. And then he just stopped eating, straight up just refused to eat dog food. Even some human foods he would not eat because it was just like not up to standards for him. So, yeah. Not, not all cats and dogs eat everything you give them. They sold my younger sibling for an ex. I would do that, not my parents. I would sell my younger sibling for an ex. I'm actually ha- oh, Wait, okay, this sounds fucked up. I was- I- Okay, I'm not happy that my si my younger sibling flew away but, specifically, but I was gonna say I'm happy I'm- I am the youngest and not a middle child. Because I'm already like, you know, you know, the middle child syndrome, how there are all, like all middle child children are a little bit fucked up in some way, more so than the other two because they weren't given as much attention or love or whatever. Um, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm only saying that I'm happy I'm the youngest because then that means I'm not a middle child. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm happy that a dolphin shot my younger, what could have been a younger sibling into space. So, <laughs> to clarify, your pets have never been picky. My own dogs have never been picky either. Eddie, Bennett, they were, they were super good. The best dogs I've ever owned, ever, 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 ever. But hopefully these other dogs, this new generation of dogs we have, won't be super picky either. Okay, guys. I have two more cooking streams left to do. All future cooking streams will probably um maybe not well we'll see <laughs> I'll, I'll probably do more cooking streams someday in the future after but we have
have sweet and savory baked pork chops. And then the bacon and mushroom linguine. Now, I have been letting you guys pick the order of the cooking streams, but I think what we're going to do next is bacon and mushroom linguine. There ain't no way bacon and mushroom linguine will take me two hours. This is not possible. I mean, it's spaghetti. How can spaghetti take me two hours, right? What you gotta do? Well, we probably just have to, like, fry the bacon and pan fry the mushrooms, too. And that's it. Shouldn't really need to do anything else, I hope. I'm going to make that because I think I might like the sweet and savory bake it, baked pork chops more. And I want to end the cooking, the cookathon. We're calling this a cookathon now. We're, I want to end it on a high. So that'll be the last dish. I won't be streaming tomorrow because I'm going to be in the movie theaters for the most part from like 10.30 a.m. until 9 p.m. I'm watching Oppenheimer, I'm going to be watching Barbie afterwards, and then I'll be coming home briefly to eat dinner real fast, because I have like less than an hour time in between Barbie and Mission Impossible to come home, eat dinner, and then drive to another movie theater to watch Mission Impossible to end the night off. So I have zero time tomorrow. Because I don't know why I did this to myself. But I will update you all on the Discord uh, how that goes. I'm excited and nervous. I mean, it's just three movies. I don't know why I'd be nervous. At the end of the day, if I walk out of the movie theater, I only lost $5. I mean, I'd rather keep the $5 and, like, make use of it, but... It, if I have to, you know, at least it's $5, it's not like 20 bucks I lost out on, or 50 The other meal's estimated time was a quarter of the time you actually spent with all of these. Yeah, actually, I don't know how long they are estimating linguine to take. I feel like it'd be 30-some minutes, too. Mission Impossible is great. Man's Girl from Guardians of the Galaxy is really pretty. <laughs> okay, so there's this Instagram reel of the, is it the Mantis girl? I think it is because I recognize her from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, there's an Instagram reel where there's this guy, she's doing an interview and there's this guy that's in her ear telling her what to say and I, co I posted a comment on there. And now it's my my most liked Instagram comment. It's got 11,000 likes. That's right. You're gr We're Instagram famous. My one single comment got 11,000 likes. Because I made a stupid comment on there. It was a funny reel though. But The last one I can refund. That's true. But I want to watch Mission Impossible. If anything but. Yeah. Okay. Hey, who's old? I guess it's that time of day. I forgot to do DMT on Maple Story. I mean, it's it was only for shoes, but I had some shoes to cube. But at least it's just one item. It's not like a big loss. So I was made aware that right now on Maple Story it is sunny Sunday, and you need to stay on for at least four hours, is what someone said in my chat um, earlier. You need to be on at least four hours to get the pet. And I think it's a back pet. So keep that in mind. Make sure you allot enough time to be on for four hours at minimum if you want the back pet. <clears throat> It is time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out in the stream. 
Now, so far, all of my streams have been the exact same length, you know, like two hours, 50-ish minutes, 45-ish minutes. It's actually kind of funny how all these meals have, like, kind of um, taken similar lengths. Lengths of time. I'm probably going to go either play Call of Duty or go bike riding. I am also working, oh wait, uh oh, I'm also actually edit, finally editing another YouTube video, so, you know, stay tuned for that, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out, um, I've been enjoying these cookathons because you guys have been making the cookathons, the cooking streams, a lot easier to digest, and you guys have been extremely helpful, uh, just every every single uh, stream, I have learned something. So today I learned uh, how you can tell when broccoli's too cooked. When you're when so when I when I had on the pan there, I guess when the stuff whatever it's called starts falling off, that means it's like overcooked or done or something. I don't know. I learned that. So thank you guys. Nicki Minajkin. Ah, it's so funny because yesterday when um I was playing COD, um, we kept on saying like it's Nicki, it's Nicki Minaj killer, kill. Oh my god, that sounds so bad. Twitch, I am not threatening a real human right now. Call of Duty has a skin, a Nicki Minaj skin. Just to clarify, I'm not sending threats but anyways when we saw Nicki Minaj in Call of Duty we're like it's Nicki Minaj killer 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 and teabagger because <laughs> ever <laughs> nothing against Nicki Minaj I like Nicki Minaj oh actually oh I have I don't listen to it. oh Jesus I'm sorry that was probably really loud ah uh, but nothing against Nicki Minaj is what I'm saying um And they were Snoop Dogg too? Dude, there was like this one squad that had Nicki Minaj and Snoop Dogg. And there was this other person from The Boys. It's so weird. They have real celebrities in their game. It's so weird. So I can't help but sound like I'm sending death threats to these poor people. Not these poor people, these very, very rich people. <laughs> The Spirits of the Dead Nicki Minaj came out to knock my phone. Yeah, we killed a lot of Nicki Minaj's yesterday. <laughs> oh. Anyways, okay. Bye bye guys. Thanks for hanging out. See you later. See you on- oh! Next cooking stream might be on Monday, but again, join the Discord if you want. Um, if you want to grab a, a stream ping roll. And I'll ping you when the cooking stream is happening. Like when my stream's starting. But I'll update you guys. I think I'll do the next cooking stream on Monday because there's a shelf life to these ingredients. And I cannot procrastinate like I usually do. Otherwise my tomatoes and stuff will go raw. Raw? We want it to be raw. We'll go bad. So I'm probably going to do a cooking stream Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday, maybe, like, last minute, Maple Story bossing stream. I don't know. I have not been playing. I have not bossed on Maple Story yet. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.